Is the Phoenix more than one body? Okay. I wasn't going to turn this presentation into a Phoenix deal, but I do not believe that the Phoenix is a body at all. I believe it's a projection. And I believe that nodal apertures in the stellar sphere that we refer to as variable stars are actually are actually some type of multi-dimensional projectors that all fire off at the exact same time and create phenomena that we see in our skies. The other luminaries, the fixed stars and the wandering stars that we call planets, have nothing to do with this. They're just luminaries. They're just they're just there. They're backdrop. But the variable stars, they're the only stars in the skies that really perplex astrophysicists. These stars change their magnitudes all the time. And they're all red. Phoenix is a uh, Phoenix is known for being red mud, red dust, red rains, turning the moon red as blood, the sun turns dark red. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's it's some type of holographic projector system, but it's not but it works in multiple frequencies, not just the light range, not just optics. These projectors create phenomena. They create the flux tube phenomena. They create the liquefaction, the mud floods. They create all that. Yeah, very convin very convincing that it's that it's a physical apocalypse when it's not. But you got to understand, we're immortal spirits, very convinced that we're in physical bodies and that this is real. Yeah. So it's it's not it's not a stretch of imagination to think that some other projector device far above us is 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 able to project all the phenomena of the skies. That's not a stretch.